Aloha and welcome to the Lunch Bunch, where we take a bite-sized look at the people and programs found on every Round Rock ISD campus. Today, it's the home of the Grizzlies, Grisham Middle School, and proud to be joined by the 2017 Grisham Teacher of the Year, Dorian Marvel. How are you? Good. Nice to have you here in our delightful cafeteria. Tell us about what you do here at Grisham. So, I'm the IB coordinator, which means that I take the TEKS and I articulate them into a concept-based framework for teachers to implement in their classrooms. I also coordinate service, so I help all the kids find and accomplish their service hours. And I'm the enrichment coordinator. Let's talk about IB. It's a big sort of world program that gets sort of everybody thinking culturally and globally Absolutely. and sort of aligned. Uh, talk a little bit about what, what, what is IB. Here in Round Rock we have eight IB programs. We have four elementary, two middle school, and two high school programs. And what we all have in common is that we're infusing international mindedness into our curriculum. We're also looking at the way we learn through concepts instead of just memorizing content. We infuse intentional skills and we integrate skills. I think the most original piece of what we do is incorporating service and action. We want kids to take what they're learning and do something, to use it in their community, to make a positive impact, to explore who they are and how it's connected to what they're learning. So you have this, this program which incorporates all that in a middle school where there's still gym and art and music. How does IB work in those, in, in those arenas? We have all the same traditional subjects that you would find on any campus, but what we do, for example, in PE, Instead of looking at volleyball as an isolated game or skill, we look at how we can use a concept like communication and collaboration to teach volleyball. Everybody knows that you have to work together, so we just focus on teaching those aspects and then we connect it to communication and collaboration in all the other subject areas. Well, the other exciting thing you're involved in is uh, Girls Who Code. Tell yes. us about that program. Girls Who Code is an international organization designed to help girls have exposure to computer science. Once a week for two hours, we have about 20 girls and then two mentors who work in computer science come from their organization. And they come and we do team building activities and we teach them the skills related to coding. A lot of these girls come from different social groups and different grade levels and different elementary schools. We want them to get to know each other and have this really supportive place where we can come together, talk about our problems, and kind of empower them to problem solve and figure things out through through this group context. Why is it important to get them exposed to computer science? I think it's exposure. I think that's exactly what it is. Not just coding, but in general, we try to expose them to a lot of things so that it can kind of just become part of their background, their thinking. Computer science as a a job isn't just sitting in a room writing code. I mean, dancers can infuse code into their videography. DJs, doctors, pharmacists, everybody in the future can use this skill to enhance their career choices. It is time for the Lunch Bunch Lightning Round. You ready? Ready. Let's All right. Do it. All right. Uh, when you were in school, were you chatty or quiet in the cafeteria? I think I was chatty everywhere. <laughs> Uh, brown bag or school lunch? Brown bag every day, my whole educational career. To this day, still brown bag. Uh, did you have a lunch box? I did, Garfield. Garfield was on your lunch box? Yes, it was a hand-me-down. Regular or chocolate milk? No milk ever. Water. No milk ever. Every time it's a different answer to that one. All right, no favorite school lunch item? I think fruit. Anything that's not a beat-up banana in my lunch box. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. Did you have a good time? I did. It was very interesting. I hope you guys learned some cool stuff about Grisham. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube at Round Rock ISD Video for future episodes of The Lunch Bunch. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Round Rock ISD. From the home of the Grizzlies, Grisham Middle School, on behalf of Dorian, I'm Robbie Brown. Thank you for joining us on The Lunch Bunch. Aloha. Ciao. Ooh, international. <laughs>